Brett Cooper. She makes this, she's a very young Gen Z, very smart, um, conservative. And she makes these viral videos about current events. And she made a video about the whole Elon Musk, um, his kid, his son turning into a trans and how he he lost her lost him her what i don't even know but i think this is the is a huge issue right now that's dividing us and this whole woke mind virus thing it's it's getting into young developing you're still developing kids and i think the left is pushing this agenda to say oh it's okay it's okay to change. And these people don't even know who they are yet. You know, like I, I didn't know who I was until I was like 26 years right. old. And I was like, okay, this is who I am. This is what I believe in. And what's I that think, girl's uh, name? Brett B. What's your first Brett, name? B-R-E-T? Brett Co- yeah. B-R-E-T-T Cooper. She has a YouTube channel called okay. the comment section. She's a right, very right conservative um, Gen Z. She's only 22 or 23 years old. And she's she makes these viral videos. She works for the, um, I think, the Daily Wire with, what's his name? Ben Shapiro and all them. Yeah. Yeah, and she covers these topics that I watch often. And there's truth. It's truth. Like It's like you have these young kids and you put them in a liberal school that just pushes this political agenda on them and then they turn out trans and it's what's going on here. Yeah. Uh, I read a very good article, useful article by a gay man. It was a long article and basically his position was that all these people who, that, that they're trying puberty blockers on and stuff, very large majority of them are just gay. They're confused about their yeah. gender, but they're going to turn out to be gay was his position. He, and he relayed mm-hmm. his own experience going through that. And instead, so you have the schools or whoever it is trying to tell them what they are instead of them figuring it out. It is discovering. Isn't yeah. Right. And when you're, I mean, to give puberty blockers to a nine year old, that's criminal to me. Yeah. Don't mess with the kids. And it's amazing how this stuff all got started in secret. I mean, this has been going on mm. for years. There was a huge uh, trans clinic that was seeing kids in England that when it got exposed to the media, it was immediately shut down. It's been going for years. So I, this stuff like sneaks in to our society. And of course, they don't tell the parents and they don't want to tell oh, the yeah. parents. They tell yeah, the parents was- you're not. You don't have a right to know. Yeah, that was something Brett covered. Um, It was California, I believe. They literally passed some law or some something in legislation that banned kids and teachers from communicating to their parents that they may want to transition. They banned that. Like, how do you ban, like, (laughs) what? That's just pure like dictatorship right there. It's yeah. like, well, it's for any, never in history of our society has anyone before introduced the concept that parents don't have control of their kids, because it's the same thing about the curriculum. I saw a there's a YouTube video. If you were interested, I can send you a link to it. A mother who is speaking before. Uh, Congress, it wasn't a a congressional committee, but it was a group of congressmen talking about her experience in trying to find out what her daughter's curriculum was. She asked the school board. They refused to tell her. They said, you have to do a freedom of information request to get the curriculum, which she did. Then she got the curriculum. She had questions about it. Then the school board arranged a five-hour meeting just with her to confront her over why she was trying to destroy the school system by looking into the curriculum, and they told her they were going to sue her. And at the end of the five hours, they said, we're just kidding about the lawsuit. We just wanted you to know 
what damage you're doing. And then two weeks later, she gets a lawsuit from the American Federation of Teachers who are suing her. Oh, wow. Just because she wants to know what's in the curriculum. That's the truth. <laughs> that's totalitarian there. It's ridiculous that, you know, parents should always have a right to know what their child is being exposed to. I and agree. I agree that they're not, they're not educators, so they don't understand what teaching's about, but they understand what they want, what beliefs they want instilled in their children. And so they should have a right to understand whether that's what their children are being taught or not. Yeah. Something I, cause I have kids myself How and many? they're in the Ooh. public system. How many kids? Yeah, I have twins. Oh, how old? They're, they'll be seven this year, starting first grade. Okay. And I always tell them, don't just believe everything you you hear, even for me. Like, yeah. I always tell them, like, question, use your own brain. You think, try to, I know they're young, but this is like, I literally tell them stuff, like, use your own brain. Don't just blindly follow people or blindly believe people. Um, because kids are, kids are sponges, you know, they'll yep. come home saying, oh, my friend said this and and then they'll come to me and like is that true or they like it's young they start young yep. and if you're in a if your kids are in a school system where they're trying to slowly get you to believe something and and take that curriculum as like secrecy where you don't even know what they're teaching them yeah I think that's a problem. That, that reminds me of the drag queens in primary school issue. Ah, I've seen that. And there's another thing that kind of snuck up. Nobody knew that was happening, and then somehow it uh, happened. And I don't blame the drag queens for the following reason. Um, I looked into what, how that happened. And mm. it happened because the Federal Department of Education was putting pressure on school systems to infor, to implement DEI initiatives in their school. And they said, if you don't uh, begin those, these, those initiatives, we're going to withhold your money, basically. Mm. Bribing the school system to put left-leaning ideology in the classroom from the beginning to, you know, from the earliest ages in school. Well, we just seen that, right? With the Olympics. Did well, you see that? You mean, you mean the boxer? No, the opening ceremony. Oh, yeah, yeah. That didn't bother me as much as it bothered <laughs> other people, I guess, because it wasn't in your face. Um, I don't know. There were a lot of people object objected to it, no question. And a lot of conservatives objected to it. I didn't really have a huge problem with it. And well, I, I think or, it. I think the issue is that it was mocking Christianity. Yeah, yeah. So if you're Christian and you are a true faithful Christian that reads the Bible every day, and yeah, that's a slap in the face. That's like, that's like basically saying, "Hey, like the devil's here," and right. yep. and you can't do anything about it. Yep. And I didn't so, watch the whole thing, so I don't really, I'm not even qualified to say whether. <laughs> me either. I just seen clips. Right. Yeah. But then, yeah. And then you have that other issue with the boxer where this trans, I don't even know what to call it. He's anyway. not trans. trans. He's a woman that happens to have an Y chromosome. Very, very rare situation. So it really is. She was born. He really, yeah. Yeah. And but, is a woman, and and they people apologized to her after the fight, and I mean there were mitigating a lot of mitigating circumstances that weren't expressed by the people raving about it. For for one thing, she had fourteen fights and lost five, so it's not like she pummeled fourteen people into submission the first punch. She lost <laughs> she lost five fights. Okay. Secondly, the the 
girl who got punched twice and quit apologized for being a wimp later. She oh, said, I, I wimped out, I'm sorry, and blah, 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 and apologized to her, his opponent. So, so, so this yeah. was, she's a legit woman. Yes. Now, where did all these, like, allegations come from? Well, people don't understand the whole thing, the biological oddity of having a Y chromosome in a woman. So they just assumed, well, people, you know, when somebody gets punched twice and then they quit, people assumed that this was a man bullying a woman. So it was a trans woman who was strong that was beating up a woman. That's what they objected to. Mm. So then they people called her trans without, mm. I don't think, knowing the facts. And then the facts had to come out. So, so basically, she just has a genetic <laughs> anomaly where she has yeah. both chromosomes. Right. Yes, I mean, and see, even that for... though, I feel like even that though, I feel like that shouldn't be. <sighs> Man, I mean, who am I to say should should? Well, well it depends like on that... what depends yeah. on her muscularity. If she has a yeah. woman's muscularity, then there to me, there's nothing wrong with it. If she had a man's then you could argue that it's the same as a trans woman. But I'm very much ahead. Mm. I mean, I'm opposed to women, trans women competing against women. That oh, make yeah. sense because they win, they win, <laughs> they win every race. And it's a battle between the feminists are very upset about it because that violates the whole feminist movement. Because yeah, because you, it's like if you, who, if you if you believe in this open ceiling for women, which I think yeah. is reasonable, then you can't have them have trans people competing against them. Yeah, because then you're then you have a biological born male that has extremely different genetic capabilities versus an actual woman. But now you want to call them both women and call them equals. Yep. But they're not. And then let's just put them in a UFC cage match and and see who wins. Even the same weight class. You know? That's, that's the problem with the identity politics faction of the left is the ideology has to be completely open. So if mm. I'm a trans person, I can have – there's – it's – unfair and unequal to put any restrictions on my life. So if I choose to compete against women, I should have the right to do that. Well, the world doesn't really work that way. We all don't get what we want. Yeah. Hey, everyone. If you like this clip about politics, check out the full episode uh, here or here, somewhere on the screen. Uh, as we dive deeper into the current state of politics in America. Yeah, check it out. Subscribe, review, and let me know your comments down below. See you.